Hey YouTube, this is my first video on leopard geckos. Basically this video is going to be about caring for your leopard gecko and the basic setup. So let's just get started. Um, you need a minimum of a 10 or 15 gallon tank. A 20 gallon tank will make your leopard gecko really happy since they will have a lot of space. And in that tank you're going to need three hides. One on the hot side, one on the cold side, and then one in the middle, which is actually a moist hide. Okay, so the one on the hot side, which I have, and my leopard gecko sleeping in. They will mostly sleep in there and just hang out. The cold side, I used to have a tissue box as well, but my leopard gecko likes the plant because she likes to climb on it, and it helps them keep active. In the middle is the moist hide. Basically, that helps them with their shedding. So you can have moss in there or paper towel, as I'm using. Spray it a bit with water, and it just it just helps them with shedding, which they do about every two to four weeks. You're going to need a food and water dish. And I just have a rock. You don't really need that. She just likes climbing on it. You're also going to need a substrate of some sort. You can use sand, reptile carpet, or paper towel. I use paper towel because I think it's the best for me. She can't she can't swallow it. Nothing really gets stuck in. But for sand, like calcium sand, they might swallow it, and it might just get stuck. And for reptile carpet, their like their claws or their nails would get stuck in it. It might get stuck in. Okay, so now let's move on to what you might need. Okay. So, I have this. I use this brand for calcium. It is the RepCal Phosphorus Free Calcium with Vit D in Ultra Fine Powder. It's for all reptiles and amphibians. Basically, you put that in a Ziploc baggie along with your crickets or your mealworms or whatever you're using to feed your leopard gecko. You shake it all around and then you feed it to your leopard gecko so that they can get the source of calcium. And yes, that. And then you're also going to need a bottle cap of pure calcium. You, you can't have this one in it because they, might, they may actually overdose. So that's why you only put a, a bottle cap. You're going to need a heat mat. You need it, need it, need it. It's because you, your leopard gecko, they use the heat mat or heat pad, heat mat, to like warm their belly so that it can help with digestion. And that's just how you put it on. Leopard geckos do produce metabolic heat, but they don't have any efficient ways of conserving it or like increasing the production of it. So it means they have to absorb heat from the surrounding environment, which is the heat pad. And if they ever do need to regulate their body temperature, they just simply move to the cooler or warming side. And that's just how to put it. See, you don't put it right at the edge. You just put it right, like, in the middle part. Okay. You're also going to need a gut load of some sort. I use the Zilla, Zilla gut load for cricket and insect food. So it says here, provides the feeder crickets, mealworms, and king mealies with a supercharge of carbohydrates and calcium. So you give these to the crickets, for example... They, when they eat it and then you feed it to your leopard gecko, they also get the source of carbohydrates and calcium. Yes, that's it there. And then also, so this is just the overview of the tank. That's just how it is. And you you also can have the, U, the UV light or the heat lamp on top if your leopard gecko needs more heat. But... But you really miss, you really do need the heat pad on the bottom. So yes, that's just my first video right now. And if you guys have any questions or anything, just comment below. Please subscribe and there's going to be more videos on the way. Thank you.